seem to be a better live audience than last night's, so we're okay. Good evening, welcome to the show. MTV's Most Wanted, fast and furious, fun packed, great fun for all the family. So do join us for the next 90 minutes as we have fun here on MTV. Any, any ideas what you want to do? Hmm. So we could have the sparks playing live, I suppose. Roll, roll a bit of the tape, Neil. So look at that. Yeah. There we go. Sparks playing live tonight. Pretty exciting. Um, video premiere from U2. World exclusive, that one. And um, we'll be destroying a lover's gift. And, um, well, that's it, really. So good evening. And uh, welcome to Most Wanted, where we want you to have as much fun as possible with the clothes on or off. Hello, Nina. Hello. How are you? You're liven up now. Hey. Is that it? Good evening and welcome to Most Wanted. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, good evening. Yes, we're live, we're live, we're live, and we're cheap, and we're fast and furious, and we're Most Wanted. We've got sparks playing live. Let's test the live audience, Nina. Uh, every time we say something really good, can you all go, hooray? Hooray! Good, okay. So, and, and, can you, and can you jump up and down as well like that? Or bounce up and down on the bed? Always works for me. Ooh, I say, yeah. Okay, so let's try it out. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, on MTV's Most Wanted, live from London Town, we have for you, playing live in the studio, Sparks! Woo! Jump up and down, there, jump up and down. Very good, but didn't quite get the bouncy bed action there, so no bouncy bed. Let's see if the bed bounces for tonight's next bit of news. We have the new video from you 2 <laughs> Oh, um, the man on the left, the man on the left was a bouncy. Let's check him out. The bounce, yes, sir. You 2s video on tonight's show. <laughs> yes, okay, what else is happening? Also, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in, in, sorry, in something that's becoming a uh, classic already, we'll be destroying another's lover's, another lover's gift as we take you Ooh. from, <laughs> as we take you from love to hate uh, when we clean our souls later on tonight. If you want to put your input in our output because we're nothing without you, here are the numbers to fax and phone. Good evening. To telephone, dial your international code then. Four. Four. One. Seven. One. Two. Eight. Four. Zero. Four. Zero. Four. If, like me, you have a fax, dial your international code then. Four. Four. One. Seven. One. Two. Eight. Four. Zero. Five. Zero. Five. I get pretty confused here in the studio because there's people like going four and then there's our new floor manager who's also going oh, I don't know what, what she's I think she's given me her private number or something like that but I already have it so good evening and those are the numbers to phone give us a fax give us a call uh, do whatever you like uh, also if you're on the internet you can access us via the undernet here's the address right on god this program's getting so professional soon they'll replace me and it will be even better uh, Will they? Yeah. Yes, we've just heard that Chris Evans is ready to do the show. But could he keep it up four nights a week, hey? Probably not. He couldn't, you see. We have that on authority. Chris Evans is uh, Europe's best presenter after me, and uh, he'll be doing the show soon. Good, good. Right, um, right. I forgot what I'm going to say now. Internet. Oh, yes. The internet. So it was brilliantly professional then, and we ruined it all. We'd like to um, interact with you on the internet, on the Interray chat. We have loads of our friends already waiting in our computer world on the IRC, and they're talking away to themselves and having sex with each other, probably. That's what happens on the internet. You give people all this amazing technology, and all they do is send dirty messages to each other. Well, <laughs> that's what I do, anyway, when I'm on the internet. Um, but we would like to talk to you on the internet tonight about our lover's guide to Europe. Just who, what and where is the best lover in Europe? 
This is what we found out already on our survey in only three days this week. On your screen now. God, this show's getting so professional. Uh, we've done that bit. Look, uh, that goes very fast. I couldn't read any of that, um, but there we go. And look, Lebanon, Lithuania, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Russia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Spain, Sweden and Turkey. No votes whatsoever. But in the lead with 10 out of 10 is Wales. Now, Robbie, will you stop fixing this? Where's he gone? He's gone. He's so embarrassed. Because if he keeps putting 10 out of 10, we are going to get him to demonstrate his sexual prowess here in the studio. But let's ask one of our live studio audience, because we are doing an exhaustive study of the Lover's Guide of Europe. Nina, yes? shall we go to Slovakia, England, Germany, Switzerland or Germany? Slovakia. Slovakia. Let's speak to Renata or Karen from Slovakia. Can you put your hand up, Renata? Who's, who's Renata and who's Karen? Hello, Renata. Hello, Hi. Karen. Hi. Now, we're looking to find out the best lover in Europe. Girls, do they exist in Slovakia? Great lovers. Yes, well, I think they do. They do. Look at those little smiles. <laughs> <laughs> they do. <laughs> smile gets... I can't do a smile. I haven't got enough teeth left. But, um, but those young girls can. So, Karen, tell us what makes a Slovakian lover extremely good. Um, well... I think they're quite good, but I think size really matters. Now, I don't remember asking that question <laughs> at all. Um, well, to size of feet are we talking about? Well, of course, your feet. We, that's why we make love in Slovakia. Oh, that's how you make love in Slovakia, with toe jobs. That's how they do it over there. It's funny, different. Good, says Nina. So, um, a score out of ten, then? Well, I would put seven. Seven? Eight, eight, nine. No, I'm afraid I have to take your first answer. Uh, it was seven. No, nine, nine. No, the, tr the, no, the truth was seven, wasn't it? Ten. Well. <laughs> Let's go for seven. Any other, countries that, any other countries that you'd like to nominate? Any other boyfriends that you've had that were particularly good? Uh, no. What about Rob, our cameraman? I haven't actually... Oh, haven't you? Sorry. No. <laughs> oh dear, me. something from the last series that I can't tell you about. <laughs> uh, so, no other countries you'd like to nominate then? Well, no, no. No, there they are, sticking up for Slovakia, where size matters. It's the biggest myth perpetuated by women in all of those magazines that size doesn't matter. And we know, one of the facts from our lover's guide is that size does matter. And all I know is that I'm fine then. But Robbie, you're going to have to go, mate. Sorry, mate. OK, so Slovakia is finally on the scoreboard with a 7 out of 10. If, if you happen to be in one of those countries that hasn't scored yet, so to speak, then please do fax us because we want to know how good you are. This is a very important survey, OK? Right, now on to something else completely different. Um, um, but, well, sort of the same thing, really, because we've had a letter, a long letter. Thank you, Nina. Did I say you look lovely tonight? Uh, yes. Did I? Loads of time. Hmm. We're now Hello. speaking to someone on the phone at home. <laughs> yes. And her name is Helga. Helga, good, yes. Good evening, Helga. Good evening. Would, you, would our live audience say, like to say hello to Helga? Hello. The man in the black hair in the front there just said, hello, Helga. <laughs> not very good. Right, OK. Helga in Germany. Good evening to you. Hi, Ray. Uh, not yet, but I will be. How are you? I'm fine. Have you had a good day? Yes. Good. Um, so now, far. You, so far, don't worry, we're not going to make you do anything horrible, apart from um, get your bottom naked in a minute. I don't think so. Well, we'll see, because every girl says that to me. I don't think so, Ray, and I end up persuading them to do it. Maybe you're an exception, Helga. Now, Helga, you have written in a, a long letter and very, yes. very extremely interesting. Now, I can't, because Wicked Wild Will Old MacDonald, our new producer, said that I'm not allowed to read this bit. No? No, because it contains <laughs> your story of free choice with I four... I guess I know what you mean. ...with four different men, and Will says, look, we shouldn't be encouraging But that. I put it in some very soft words. You did, you did. But um, <laughs> we didn't understand it, actually, because all the words you use, we don't know what you mean. What's a thing, for example? Um, well, um, you've got it in your pants. Ah, I've got it in my pants. No, 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 no. <laughs> a key? No. Not, not in your pocket. Not in my pocket? No, you have to open your pants. I think I know what you mean. <laughs> I think I know what you mean. Going okay, red, fine. Am I going red? No, it's hot in the studio. Now, anyway, I only open supermarkets. I don't open my pants. You should know that by now. Now, Helga. 
Yeah. Nina, mm -hmm. can you hold up a little sign saying joke to the live studio audience <laughs> from time to time? Could you? <laughs> Helga, you are, now let me say this very kindly, I don't mean to mean anything horrible by it, you consider yourself quite an expert on who is the best lover in Europe. The Brits. Exactly, the Brits, and in particular, the Scottish. The Scottish, yes. Now, but the Brits as well, I've tried them as well. Have you? Yes. She's proud of it too. Standing up and being proud is Helga. Now Helga, before we get to um, why, the whys and wherefores, here's the list that Helga has sent in. Andy Cam, seeing yes. as it's you on camera, perhaps you'd like to zoom in. Germans are poor lovers without any fantasy. So they're just quite, quite straight, boring sexually, are they? Yes, right. exactly. Latin lovers, selfish and very quick. Yes. So that makes Enrico no good then. Yeah, I'm sorry for Enrico. I knew it all along, I knew it. Uh, the French, they're quite okay, but overrated. Yeah, I think so. Do, what do they do? Do they talk a lot of poetry and les le belles mots tout le temps? No, everybody in the world say, oh, French, this is so wonderful. This is the country of love. It isn't. It isn't. No. It's official, according to Helga. Okay, the Scandinavians are just very northern. Now, what do you yes. mean by that? And if you're watching at home, stop trying to read this bit when Andy Cam zooms in, <laughs> because we're not allowed to show you that bit. Northern means northern. Not cool, that big cool. A little, rust, a little rustically. Rustic. Yes. Rustic. <laughs> Isn't it good to be rustic? Sometimes, yes. Okay, so well, you're sort of a good vote for them. Now the former Eastern Bloc, and yes. we have some of those in the studio audience tonight. Yes. I have some Czechoslovakian lovers. You have some Slovakian. I can agree to the girls. You can agree to the girls. Yes. Okay, so you're right, girls. Seven out of ten is quite good. Okay, uh, the U.S. Americans. What do you say? Oh my God! Yes. Forget them. Absolutely. So they're no good, are they? Yes, they are as boring as their hamburgers. Boring as their what? As their hamburgers. As their hand what? Hamburgers. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, so that was the. But actually, that's not Europeans. We're looking for Europeans here. Although you do say the U.S. Native Indians are just great. Have you really been with a U.S. native Indian? Of course. Fine. Also a, a South American Indian. <laughs> Did you go on a world tour or something? <laughs> this was just a holiday. When you go on holiday. Just on you, holiday. You meet men everywhere. Do you? I normally just go swimming and stuff on my holidays. Yeah. And I so also go swimming. You did all of this in two weeks holiday? No, not in two weeks. It's about, it's the experience of about ten years. Ah. During a 10 year holiday. I mean, sure. lucky girl. Okay, let's see. The Asians, this is my favourite one, they are obscure and strange methods and sex practices. But your range of love games, they yeah. improve a lot. Yes, so, exactly. You now, don't have to read books about this. Just try it. Now, it's too early to get into detail, but, but what are these strange methods and sex practices without upsetting anyone in the authorities who watch this show? No, it wouldn't upset. But you just can read the Kama Sutra or things like that. Ah, oh, the Kama it. Sutra. Yes, and you will know it. It's martial arts defense. I Is know it? That. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Like karate or something. Mm. I know that. So, back to Britain anyway, Helga. That's what we really want to know. So, the Scots, what makes them fiery and red-blooded? They're wild ones. They're wild? Yes. So, uh, our scoreboard is up on the screen now, and Scotland seemed to be in the lead thanks to you, Helga. Now, yes. Helga... I give them 12 points. You give them 12 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Let's turn it up to 11. Now, Helga, so from what I can understand by talking to you, is it just enough then for you young ladies, for us young men? I mean, of course, if you like boys and girls, and it's the same thing, you can apply the same thing. Is it just enough to be wild? No, it isn't just enough. But ah. this is one very important thing, because uh, the Scottish, they, um, they combine the wilderness with, tender, with tenderness and romantic and all things like that. Do you know, that's very poetic, Helga, because that's just exactly what Scotland is like. I know. Beautiful, poetic. I will be there in a, in a few weeks. I bet you will. <laughs> yes. Have you bought a house or something in Scotland? Yeah, maybe. I'm looking for it. She's looking for it. <laughs> now, before we go on to your phone forfeit for your most wanted video, can you just tell me quickly that this story here... Was it's about absolutely true. Every word is true. It's a fantastic story. Yes. Um, it but wasn't. I, I tell you, 
I can't tell this story much because everybody say this is so immoral and this is so shocking. So I always keep it by myself. But I think it wasn't very immoral because we loved each other. You're funny, Helga, because you can't tell many people because they still think it's immoral and shocking, yet you write to me, and I'm about to tell a hundred million Europeans. I don't care about this. But I'm not going to... You know, I mean, people in my, in my closest near, so my relatives, I, I told my mum once. You told your mum? Yes. He didn't, he didn't talk to me, I guess, about six months. Well, mums don't understand that sort of no. thing, do they? No. No, no, no. OK, well, um, just tell me one thing, though. You say that it involved a Scottish band. Are yes. they a famous band? No, not, not very famous. Not the w not wet, wet, wet. Not, not gun? No, not wet. What about gun? Was it gun? No. Was no. it Simple Minds? No, not very famous band. Fine, okay. They looked much better than all the famous bands together. And are they still a famous band now? No, they are not. I guess they split up in the meantime. A bit like you split it's, up with them? It's about eight years ago. Ah, okay. What, Will? Will says, is it Andy Campbell? Who the hell's Andy <laughs> Campbell? No. Sorry, Helga. There was, it's no Andy. No, no, look, look, the names are written on, on Exactly, Will. Will you read the letter, Will? Stop no bothering Andy. us. Now, Helga, are you on your own? At the moment. Are you? Yes. Yes, just by Tom Cat is with me. Just That's your... the last one when I talk to you. Oh, OK. Just, there's just uh, no jokes about it. It's too early, Andy Cam, alone with her Tom Cat. I know what you're thinking. I'm not going to say it. Now, Helga, we want you to. We want to play your most wanted video for you. Yeah. Um, I have to do something. Right? Just a just a little thing. A little thing. Just a little thing. It happens to be someone's birthday here in the studio. I see. Would you mind playing Happy Birthday for us? Playing. Yes. Uh, on what? With what? On your bare bottom. On my bottom. Yes. Uh. With some gas, you mean? With some gas? <laughs> no, no, no. The Germans, they like those bottom jokes, don't they? Now, Helga, do you the seriously... make noise. Do you seriously think I'd ask you <laughs> to sit there and go... <laughs> I, I would think not. I you would. I wouldn't. I maybe, think you would. Maybe, but I'm not butthead. No. Uh, maybe <laughs> Wicked this. Will would want you to do that, but I would never ask you to do that. It's, it's much simpler than that, and it's much funnier than that, really, I think. <laughs> it's basically, on your bare bottom, which you'll have to take off your jeans or whatever you're wearing, but I don't want to know, you have to just slap to the tune of Happy Birthday, and then we'll play your video for you. Again. Say it again. OK. Nina! Yes? Could you come here a second? I have Can I to... use your bottom to demonstrate? <laughs> no. Why not? Oh. Why don't you demonstrate yourself? Would anyone of these studio audience like to demonstrate what I mean? I'll demonstrate on your bottom. Yes. Oh, okay, fine. I'm sorry about this, Will. It's my pleasure. This is what we want you to do, but in reality, Helga, I've got my trousers on still, so I want you to take yours off. I see. I understand. What about the other cheek? <laughs> Why are you doing it's that on one? Neglected. Is it in stereo or what? Have you got the idea, Helga? I understand. Are you sure? I don't mind doing it again. I understand. OK, she understands. I tried, I tried. All right, Helga, and would you please put the phone down? I understand. Wasn't Most Wanted supposed to go on to a new, improved programme? So, my tomcat now is there and wants to lick my ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, don't let him, yeah, because sure. it's not that sort of show. His name is James. It's a British name. Come on, James. Oh. God, you're getting a tomcat to lick up bottom. That's terrible. Helga. I try it now, OK? Yeah, just put the phone down and kick yeah, the cat no, out. I know, I know, I know. Right, OK. OK. Here we go, you got it. To you. Happy birthday, dear Roselle. Happy birthday to you. Yes, she did it! That was it. OK, Helga. <laughs> Nobody ever asked you Take such you. a strange thing to do. It's a very strange thing to do, but not half as strange as what you're doing with your Tomcat. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, I don't uh, want to do it with him. He wants to do it with me. Fine, Helga. We'll have a talk to him. Remember, huh? it's a pet and you are in charge of it. We are what? In, in what? You're, you're the boss, not the Tomcat, so don't... don't... No, no, oh my, oh no, he, he's absolutely the boss oh in my, my family. Oh, my God, he's absolutely. a sex slave to a Tomcat. 
Bye, Helga. Bye, bye, Ray. And thank you very much. And here's your most wanted video, Curtis Steigers and all that matters to me. Okay? You do get some weird people watching this program. Hello, how are you? Good to have you with us, and um, good to have you with us, and uh, we're live, uh, Most Wanted live with some live music tonight. Also, a U2 exclusive, their new video, only on MTV tonight, so don't go away. Also, some more chats on the internet, Ray Chat, and our live studio audience, and some uh, more Lover's Guide, and all sorts of things happening. But, last week, only last week, when we came back from holiday, well, what holiday? We're inventing new ideas. We came back and asked you to send in pictures of yourself in your underwear in front of a famous monument of your town. We've already got a couple of replies. We'd like some more, so please, I'll give you the address a little later, please do write in. And remember, we want three facts about the underwear, like where you bought them, how many times you've worn them, and, uh, and uh, whatever else you want to talk about. And then also, three facts about the monument, because at the moment we only have one fact about each. But let me show you what we've got so far, and this will all go up into our Hall of Fame, and every week we'll be giving out a couple of T-shirts to the best story and the best pictures, so you can cover yourself up next time. Let's have a look first at the marvellous Mads from Denmark. Here's Mads and um, well here he is and you can probably see it in better in a full frame graphic. There is Mads from Denmark <laughs> in his underwear with the Little Mermaid as you probably recognised in Denmark in the harbour in Copenhagen of course and a little bit later on that evening here's the same shot. Look at that as the sun was setting. <laughs> Pure romance. We don't have that one on a full frame graphic, so I'll just have to hold it into the camera. Okay, Ben? Yep. You, Mac, Mac crash zooms? I'm with it, I'm with it. Excellent, good. And um, Mads also felt it necessary to give us a close up of his boxer shorts. <laughs> have we got a camera on the live studio audience, Andy Cam? Yep, yep. Well, let's try that one again then. Here's a photo of Mads in his boxer shorts. <laughs> the initial reaction was more, ah, <gasps> woo. <laughs> Wasn't it? Don't know. Ooh. I think some of the girls uh, might quite like that. Um, yes, I can think I can see why. Now, on to the girls. We've also got some girls. Thank you very much, Mads. That will go up on our little board a little later on tonight in the show. Uh, where's the girls? Here's the girls. Now, these girls are from Sweden. So, hey, son, say, son, girls. Their names are Katia and Jana, or Jane. We're not quite sure. First, let's have a look at the lovely Katia. There she is. In her underwear. In front of a monument. I'll tell you what that monument is in just a second after you have a look at my personal favourite. It's Jane. Or is it Yana? We're not quite sure. Here she is in her underwear in front of the same monument. Well, hey. Well, hey. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you notice how the men are much, in their live studio, are much more embarrassed to give any form of, um, <laughs> in these days of sexism. <laughs> oh, they're too embarrassed about it. So, in fact, that monument that you can see there, there's quite a few monuments in that picture, but the monument that you can see here, sorry, here, is in fact a very old Viking grave which lies in the south of Sweden. And Katya and Jane says, we hope you'll enjoy them. We certainly will, girls. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll go up on our board. And if you can do any better, we'll give you the address later. But you will be getting a T-shirt each for your problem, for your pleasure, for, for your what? For your efforts? Because it's our first... Oh, I'm sorry. Ben, I'm a bit uh, confused after these photos. But um, it's time for Salsa. Will you shut up, Will? It's time now to give you some live music. Thank you very much for those lovely photos of you in your underwear. Don't forget, we need three facts about the underwear and three facts about the monument, and keep them coming in. We've had loads of photos of you fully clothed in front of your local monument. Those don't count. We want your underwear. Well, Wicked Will does. I mean, I don't know. I've got my own. Here comes some live music tonight. They're our old friends. We welcomed them uh, twice on the last series, and they've come back again. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to meet tonight's special guests. They are Sparks. Yes, here they are, Ron, Russell and Christy. Together they formed Sparks 20 years ago. A strange man with an odd moustache and his wild-haired brother made a big splash on the pop charts. It's 1995 and they're still doing the same. In addition to having a wondrous voice, Russell is also a keen chef, with seafood a speciality. Ron is a leading light, wait for it, <laughs> in the Meals on Wheels campaign and can often be found delivering hot food to grateful pensioners. Here they are, ladies and gentlemen, it's Ron, it's Russell, and it's Christy, and it's Spark. There they are. Hello. Hello, boys and girls. Hello. Hello. Are we boys and girls? Russell. Oh, yeah, boys and girls. Are you a boy and a girl? No. No, no. Boys and girls. We're all sorts of boys and girls, aren't we? Hello, Christy. 
Now, we've been, I've been uh, talking to the technical crew here today, and they've all enjoyed this rehearsal more than any other rehearsal before, because they keep saying to me, have you seen the babe, Christy? And every time Christy comes into the studio, they say the same thing. Christy, you're a babe. And I also think you're a very talented musician. I don't want any of those sexist remarks on this show. Wow, I've seen your videos. I'll take that as a compliment. Ooh, the... Ron, you're a babe too. <laughs> In your own special way. Ray? Yes? You left somebody out. Yes, Russell? On the babes at the babe list. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't see who you mean. It's me, Ray. Ah, Robbie, you're a babe. You're a babe. That's nice of Russell to point that out. <laughs> Russell? Yes, Ray. You know you're good looking already. You don't need me to tell you. Oh, thanks, Ray. Yeah. Right. You're the best. You're the best. Here's. Here's. Sp Russell, were you ever known as the Sparks? Never. Never. Only in Germany they say D Sparks because they cannot say words that don't have an article before it for some reason. Ah. I don't know what the problem is. Talking but of We're German. working on that now. Good. Just Working sparks. Just sparks. Okay, so it's official from Babe Russell. Here, Babe Russell, that sounds like Babe Ruth. Quite a good one. Here we go. Gratuitous sex. Sax. And s Ron is not amused, are you, Ron? <laughs> Gratuitous sex and senseless violence. Sparks. And now the answer to when do I get to sing my way? And now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain, my friend. I'll say it clear, I'll state my case. Of which I'm certain I've lived A life that's full I've traveled each And every highway And more Much more than this I did it my way
with the sound of music. When I kiss you, when I kiss you, I get Charlie Parker playing. When I miss you, when I miss you, when the playing ends from dying. When I kiss you, when I kiss you, I get Charlie Parker playing. When I miss you, when I miss you, when I finally see the light. There's rebel advances, never disputes Somebody shot and somebody shoots It's the bullseye bam Captured on a border cam And the hills are alive With the sound of music When I kiss you, when I kiss you I get Charlie Parker playing When I miss you, when I miss you When the playing ends one night When I kiss you Welcome to MTV's Most Wanted with some live music from Sparks tonight. They were fantastic. They'll be back a little bit later on. Um, Robbie? Yes, Nina? Yes? Someone's stolen our live studio audience. They got bored. They got bored? Yeah. It's easy for you to say, Nina. Who's stolen them? They've gone home. Are you sure they're not under those things? <laughs> they got bored of the show and they went home. Is that true? Yeah, look. <laughs> I thought we were doing all right tonight. Oh, all right, okay, fine. Well, anyway, on to our next very popular item uh, here on MTV's Most Wanted. We've asked you to send in those things that you were once given by your boyfriend or your girlfriend and you now hate because they've gone off with someone else. So we want to take you from love to hate and then back again so you can purge, purge all of that hatred and envy and everything. In other words, let's clean our souls together. And tonight's next victim is the man who went out with this girl. Her name is Lisa Kulreut. Hello, Lisa, in Hoosingen, Basel, in Belgium. Hello, 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 Lisa. A very short and sweet letter tonight. Isn't it funny, Nina? 
When people take photographs of people, they think, falling up against the wall, look, it doesn't work, Lisa. Do it, does it? Yeah. Does it? Okay, okay, it works, Lisa. But anyway, more importantly, this young lady wrote in to our Clean Our Souls competition spot and said, I'm Lisa from Belgium, and I have to tell you something. I've got this necklace, this little necklace here. I'm sure you may have won something similar. This little necklace from my ex-boyfriend, whose name is Anthony. But now he's broken off with me. Anthony and Lisa are no more. He said it was because I was talking too much about Mark Owen. I don't think that's true, Lisa. Why, even on the back of your letter, you've written all these things about Mark Owen. So it can't be true. But you think it was because he was in love with someone I hate. Her name is Kelly. And now Anthony's with Kelly and no longer with Lisa. You must understand that I can't look at this necklace anymore. Lisa, that's exactly what we mean. Every time you see this, it probably makes you feel really sad and you start crying. Please, Ray, do you want to destroy this stupid thing that Anthony bought for me? Your most wanted, Lisa Colroyd in Belgium. Lisa, consider it done. We'll take this and your photo to remind Anthony of what he's lost out to the car park. Will you join me, live studio audience, in wishing her well on the way? Hooray! Good luck! I can't believe they got so bored and went They home. got bored and got home. OK, come on then, Lisa. Let's go out to the car park. Where? Tonight, we will be destroying this silly little tin necklace. It's not even silver. Um, ooh, and sparks are out there too, waiting for you. Oh, there's our live studio audience! <laughs> ah, excellent. I thought you'd all got bored and gone home. Hello, Sparks. Hello, Ray. Are you having your own little Sparks How did you know you were called Sparks? <laughs> I do my research, that's all. Ron. You didn't do his job on that. Joke, joke. <laughs> now, tonight, we are destroying this necklace from this young lady. Because Anthony gave it to her and she can't, she hates it now. I know. Okay. Get so, it. what we're going to do for you, has anyone got me a lighter? Yeah. Yes? Thank you. What we're going to do, is we're going to make it even better for you tonight because we've got Sparks here, we've got their own little private fireworks show and, no, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Let's put Lisa there, put Lisa there. See you, Ray, we've got it right. Russell, don't be such a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> now, hang on a second. We are going to attach this necklace. Could you hold that for me? Oh, yes. Okay. Your sparkers are going to run out. It's all bad timing, isn't it? Here we go. Let's, just a second. Russell, can you fill in with some jokes or some songs yeah, or something? Anything happened to Sparks on the way to uh, MTV today? Well. What did happen, Russell, on the way to well, MTV we can, we today? We go over this thing about the uh, D sparks, the sparks. Remember, always leave off the the off of sparks. Ah, thank you very much, Russell. Yeah. That was excellent. Bit of filling in. The lighter? The lighter, please. Um, just pretend. Just pretend. Just pretend. OK, here we go. Especially for you. Especially for you, Lisa. Here's your boyfriend's necklace. We'll do a little fireworks display. Let's light this one. Let's light that one. And let's light this one. Whoa! Yes! And here goes the second one. And it's gone to space. Oh, one of them fell down. There you go. Hang on. It is no more, Lisa. It's gone into space. So, your soul is now cleansed. And here's that video that reminded you of your old boyfriend just to make you feel better. Thanks, Lisa. This is PM Dawn, especially for you. Thank you, Sparks. Thank you. Thank you, nice to the audience. shoppers and uh, welcome to Ray's Superstar Superstore. Uh, you're welcome just as browsers please uh, because your money is just not good enough for me because I need the cash wad money from the superstars of today. I've had them all in my shop and tonight we're gonna have all the way from the US of A where they know how to spend their dollars it's Spark so join us in Superstar Superstore. <laughs> Yes, indeed. It's the price they pay that makes them shop at Ray's. So, um, 
Oh, I see there in the laundry aisles, there's Russell, Ron and Christy. Come on over. Hello. Come on in. Hello, lovely to see you Thank again. Thank you for inviting us to your supermarket. Are you having a lovely tour? Yeah, we are. Yeah. We are, actually. Excellent. I'm surprised man a grown man would have a market like this. Now, pardon? So I'm surprised a grown man would have a market like this. Look, we all have to make a little bit of extra money on the side, <laughs> don't we? Now, um, last time you were in here, I um, ran out of a few things, didn't I? Um, yeah, you did. But I have everything in stock that you requested. Well stocked. May yeah. I ask where you've been shopping recently? Well, we shop at Sears and Roebuck. You probably wouldn't know that because that's American. I, no, I know all my competitors, sir. Oh, oh yes. Sears and Roebuck. I have Roebuck to be aware company. of the Sears and uh, Roebuck. Pennies. What, what do you actually buy there, sir, in, in Sears and Roebuck? Um, sweaters. Nothing that you couldn't buy here. Um, no, in fact, you have some. We nice probably have clothing. them cheaper. Yeah, you do. Can um, we? Can you get I, fish Ron, fingers, for example? Uh, not in Sears and Roebuck. No, only. Uh, ah, you see, sir, we have fish fingers on special offer this week. Do you? Yes. How much? Well, it's a very special offer. Oh, how much? But they're not available actually. Oh. But they're sold out. Mm. But I can get some in. Yes, out of season. <laughs> now, um, do you actually do your own shopping? Um, yes, sir? I do. I, I shop for things to en enhance my image. Since. Uh, they trying told trying me, to touch the merchandise told that, too much. They've told me that things like this would help out in, in sort of... In Sears and Roebuck, they're telling you this, are they? Yeah, just to kind of, you know, get, gain a new kind of uh, following. Because most of the people that, that kind of follow Sparks, he's the ones that get the carnal sort of oh, the affair. And I get the ones that want to know what the lyrics mean. Yes. Sir. So I figure if something like this might help out a little bit, what do you think? I think, I think you're quite right, sir. You just have to mm. finish hiding it. <laughs> no, no, isn't, uh, the little bit poking over the top, madam, is quite right, all the rage right. these days. Yeah, yeah, right. enough to try, it's right. kind of like emanate, you know? It is kind of like emanate, sir. Yes. You have to also, also, Ron was eyeing one of the apparel items here, too, so can, well, we, can we let him... Uh, well, if you, wouldn't, like if you wouldn't mind, I do like to run an order in the establishment, and we do have an order, sir, No, but in Sears and right. Roebuck, it's just like mayhem. Yes, but so you don't get the service in Sears and Roebuck. Is there no. someone walking around with you in Sears and Roebuck, sir? No, and that's kind of the nice, the pleasant thing about it. No that's one bothers family you touch. when you're shopping. <laughs> oh, no, but I don't think of me as a bothersome. Oh, just a family touch? Think of me as a friend. There's a family oh, okay. touch for you. Okay. Think of me as a friend. Now, okay. firstly, I, I've got in some... Because you're on this long tour, I have right. brought in some electronic pop. I've imported the latest in compact discs for you. Wow, fabulous. Um, which one of these would you like? I mean, you can take one of them, I'm afraid, for the tour bus. Okay. We have um, Craftworks, I believe that's their latest album. Um, Erasure, mm -hmm. pop duo from London, I believe. Yeah, I've heard of them. Um, uh, the Human League, mm -hmm. they're back again, uh, mm -hmm. a successful comeback. Mm -hmm. The Pet Shop Boys, mm -hmm. who um, sort of remind me a little of you two. Do they? Mm -hmm. Little. Mm -hmm. Um, and Pulp, who are sort of the new pretenders to the throne. Right. Mm -hmm. Any one of these particular electronic musics you would uh, like? Hey, well, let's have the Kraftwerk one. That's awfully nice. Uh, are you going to make the decision for Ron and Christy? I think I am, since he's Always. making those. I just want the process piece. I'll wait till it gets Okay, Christy. Okay, there we go. Kraftwerk, please. Kraftwerk Man Machine. Thank you. There we go. Uh, do, you, do we pay do you on like the way pulp? out? No, they're very popular at the I moment. I do like Pulp, yeah. Are you sure you don't yeah. want to change your mind? Can I, I can't have two? There's no exchange, I'm afraid, in the shop. There isn't? No. Can I take two, though? No, I'm Do afraid I... not, sir. No. Okay. Uh, I know you're okay, you've convinced me. Yeah. Your high-pressured salesmanship has ah, convinced fine. me I should well, have Paul. I, you won't regret oh, it, I sir. can't touch it either, uh, I don't think. I, you, I, you, <laughs> won't, you won't regret it. There's only one song, but you won't regret it. That's not quite as good value for money, It is isn't, it? but it is modern, sir. It's what okay. the young people like. Okay. Right. Okay, let's have what the young people Moving like. Moving on. Moving on, something I uh, thought you might like to watch on the tour bus, one of the films. We've got some, we, of course we have those special videos that you ordered, sir. Oh, um, right. But they're under the counter. But meanwhile, we have a, a lovely classic horror movie for you, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Or you could choose Saturday Night Fever. Of course, this one was one of your biggest starring roles, mm -hmm. sir, wasn't it? Yes, I enjoyed yes, it was. you. I enjoyed you in this movie. Thank you very much. Three man. Two, two Hitchcock classics there, Number 17 and Murder. Two for the price of one, very, very good value. That's good value. And, uh, of course, Gone with the Wind. Which is a classic, of course. It's wind, Ray. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry, no. <laughs> Beans are on special offer this week. So, um, which one of those films would you like to take away with you tonight? Um, I think... Baby Jane. She said Baby Jane, but I, I'm kind of leaning towards Saturday Night Fever. I'm kind of tight pants. I'm kind of in a disco mood. You know? You're in a disco mood? Too? Yeah, kind of. But, but you have your pulp. You can disco around to that. No, but you can't you? disco to pulp. You can What's disco to Kraftwerk or Pet Shop Boys, but, but you cannot... Closet. Well, you can't disco is, to them. Is it too late to trade this in for something in a larger size? <laughs> I, I have just what you need, sir. Perhaps, perhaps it would work better if you took the two... <laughs> oh. 
two great great foods with you. No, I need right. those. No. I, need, I need those. Oh, I didn't want to mention it. <laughs> yes. You're very kind. Very kind. I wouldn't have said anything. Anyway, okay, sorry, we, we can't sell this anymore. You do believe realise uh, that, sir, because you've already um, well, it's already been touched. Uh, Would you uh, mind uh, keeping uh, it? All right. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, Saturday Night Fever, what is it, is it to be? It was Saturday Night Fever, right. A Saturday Night Fever, and I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. seeing as Madam is looking so lovely today, we might also Baby Jane just for you, Madam. Okay, two for one special. Two for one. I won't even charge you for this one. Thank you. Pop them in, Ray. So we just have to, we just have to get it in for the sponsors. <laughs> Fine. Moving along, sir, something for you. Yes, I want to some, enhance the I image. Want the, something, something sort of in a Marlon Brando kind of thing. Ah, the jackets, you know? that, to your liking. That's a, that's a little bit later, sir. If you wouldn't mind sticking to the schedule and the order. <laughs> is it? Oh, this there, is, there is an order. You think this was your show or something? Well, it's my shop, sir. Oh. Um, if you don't mind. Oh. I don't come along to your gigs, do you, and ask you to play a different song for one you're As playing. a matter of fact. You don't even come to our gigs. I don't, do I? Know. <laughs> that's, uh, that's because I'm too busy shopping. Oh. Now. Here we go, with something for you, sir, because I, I heard you on an enhancement image campaign, mm -hmm. and we have a, a various a range of moustaches for you. So if you just like to look bored over there, something. I will. Fine, fine. fine. okay. Um, Shall I look bored as well? Or? No, no, sir, oh, this is especially oh. for you. We have a range of moustaches here. Uh -huh. Now, it took me a long while to import your old one. Right. I don't know if you want that one back. Um, I have some bad stories about what happened after I had that moustache, so I think I should go for something a little... Something a little... Would you care, would you care to try one of them? Um, can you hold my I certainly my can. Image yeah. It'll be a great pleasure <laughs> to, to hold them for you. Um, the Fu Manchu. Oh, a good choice. I was going to say the Fu Manchu, uh, sir. Yes? Because the Asian market is becoming very large nowadays. And, uh, Feel free to try it on and. Um... Mm, yeah. Tim. Perhaps, but, perhaps with the cucumber. Perhaps we could try, <laughs> yes. Um, mm, 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 this one I, I have a feeling might be quite uh -huh. fetching if, you, if you'd like to try it on. Take your time. Would you like to try on one, sir? No, it's really not me, the, that whole mustache scene. It's not? No, it really isn't. Fine. Uh, Thank you, though, for you, asking. Madam, would you care to try a mustache I on? thought maybe if I had this one just coming up out of the cleavage, people would wonder, like, <laughs> Ooh, is that, what was growing down there? <laughs> is that a good idea to make people wonder? Well, it's that image enhancement thing that Ron was talking about. I don't think Madam needs any image breath. enhancing, do you? <laughs> no, no, not at all. So, what, have you made your decision? From hair, anyway. <laughs> no, have you, have you made your decision? We do have to I get along. They, they all look just so great that I. Uh, you can't. I, I can't. think I'll stick with the cucumber. And, uh, I can't. I can't tempt you with the moustache. Uh, not today. I'm sorry. Ray. Fine. Okay. Well, we'll put that back yeah. then. Thank you. Spend all your day shopping. And finally, sir, uh, if you'd like to choose any one of these jackets, I. I, I Looking at uh, Sir Beyond, mm -hmm. I believe a new jacket might be a good idea. Personally, I prefer Madame as she is. Mm -hmm. And you, of course, are perfect yourself. Mm -hmm. But Sir could possibly do one of the new jackets. Me? Yes, could you, Sir? <laughs> one of those? One of those? <laughs> I was thinking it's more of a Ron kind of thing, one of those. Okay, Ron. Because he had his uh, eye on this one. I'm, he was talking I'm about. kind of like a, a wild one sort of guy, you know? Well, Ron, you don't have a jacket, do you? So no. this could be very good to keep this, those winter chills. This wild one, Marlon Brando affair. Okay, I'll just place your grapefruits down there. This one, sir. Yes, thank you. This one, this particular one? That, that's, uh, that's perfect. Perfect, okay. I would like to try it on quickly. There we go. I think it might be a little on the small side, sir. Uh, that, that... Sorry, sorry, just American jacket. There we go. Wow, Woo! dude. Yeah. No, it's you, sir. May I say? It's, it's him. It is him. Uh, it's him. You know, we're, we're going to have to do a different song for our second song tonight. Yes, perhaps so. Uh, Born to be Wild, I think, is going to... I'll tell you, with the cucumber and the moustache, it's going to go down a storm with the young people. Really? So trust me. Trust really? Me. Yes, okay. trust me. You've never let us down before, Ray. I've never let you down. Perfect choice. Perfect. So there we go. So, um... You're happy with your purchases? No, sir? I'm absolutely happy. Thank you. You are happy? Thank you. And, well, um, these will come in handy on the tour bus and the... Uh, Okay, let me just give yeah. you a little present, um, just for Madam, because she's been so lovely tonight. We'd like you to take away some, some of Ray's beans. Wow, they even have your name on them. Oh, they do. It's my These shop. They must be really expensive. They are, but they're exclusive. Quite a delicacy. Just for, just for close friends. Ooh, thank you. I'll yeah. shake them up and eat them. Uh, yeah. You know what? If yes. this wasn't blue screen, I'd walk right out of here right now. But you you would? Little, yeah. <laughs> you were not satisfied with my. Um... Well, it's, I mean, it's fine, but it, you know, it's just not me. Well, you can't do enough to boost some people, can you? No, you can't. Do you know who I had in here last year, last week? Who? Bono. Bono? And he was easy. Just was he? Just breezed through here, bought a few cigars, and he was off. Yeah? That must have been a boring sketch. 
Unlike ours. <laughs> Here's U2's. <laughs> Here's U2's latest video. I'm on special offer next week in Ray Superstar Superstore. Thank you for shopping. It's been uh, and um, uh, exclusively for the first time ever in Europe. This is U2's new video. And remember, kids, it's better to be a shopaholic than it is to be an alcoholic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen, ladies. Lena. We're back, we're live, we're on. Hello, good evening, good evening. and welcome. It's Sunset Party, Andy Can. Hello, it's Most Wanted, bringing a little bit of cheer into your life. Hopefully, uh, we've cheered you up a little bit tonight. Uh, certainly cheered me up a lot tonight. And our live audience have been lovely and wonderful. We've got a comment here from... Uh, let's take him right now on the phone. Vedran, in, uh, in Norway, are you there? Yes. Hello, Vedran. Hello to you. Ooh. Two. Hello? Oh, hello, hello. Ah, no echo anymore. Good. Uh, you're just there. Let's do this right away before we come back to you. Uh, you thank you for your letter. You say that, uh, Ray, congratulations on the choice of your live studio audience. There's always at least a couple of real sex symbols amongst them. You lucky old man. Less of the old, thank you. You get to be with all those sex-charged bodies during the show. And I bet you get to touch them too. Don't be ridiculous. So, Vedran. Yeah? Have a look at tonight's live studio audience and choose yourself your own top sex symbol. Go on. Um, it's going to be hard. Yeah, we don't want to know about that, thanks, Vedran. Um, can I choose both female and male? Of course you can, Vedran, in the modern world. Yes, please. Yeah. Do you want that young man there? Do you want the lady, the, the young man there with the nice dyed hair? <laughs> it's, it's not that colour naturally. No, move on. Move on, move on, move on. To the young lady in the green. <laughs> Um, mm, could be. Um, move on. Move on. <laughs> this is cruel. Oh, Ooh. good. Ooh. Great. Vedran. Yeah? Have you made your decision already? Yes. <sighs> is it going to be her? She will do. She is great. What's your name? My name is Tina. Hello, Tina. Hi. You're chosen to be tonight's sex symbol. Ooh. Ooh. Excellent. Yes, and the top one. Vedran. <laughs> Don't applaud anything, these people. Veteran. Yeah? Would you like to choose a boy now, then? Um, yeah, all right. Go on, then. I'm not, I'm not going to let him. Um, mm. closer, closer. Not to you. Oh. <laughs> quick, Veteran, quick, quick, quick. Um, OK, the one at the end of the row. Yes, the one at the end of the row Woo! is tonight's male sex symbol. Yes, so we have two sex symbols. There we go. Look at him and die, girls. <laughs> right, uh, before we do the next thing, let's do the next thing before we do the next thing, because the next thing was in the line for the next thing, but in fact, it's the previous thing that oh, I want to do up. now. Thanks, veteran. I'll cut you off. Yep. Yeah, we, we did cut him off. OK, quickly, uh, we need your letters. Uh, your letters of you in your underwear next to a famous monument. Three facts about the underwear, three facts about the monument. Also, send in those things you now love to hate and we'll destroy them for you. And just send in letters of anything you want, really. I've forgotten all the other ideas, Will. But here is the address to write to, and it's over to our friends on the internet. Because on the IRC, they've been practising this for the last hour. So let's see if it works. Let's go into our own private little internet world, and I'll just say hello. Hello, Pia Maria. And you know what I'm wearing, darling, but what are you wearing? Hello, oh, I'm just typing to them in real time now. This is modern technology, kids. Hello, all. Uh, come on, then. Say hello back. Let's be quicker than this. Ray, sweetheart, give us a peek. Pia, you know exactly what I'm wearing. I don't know what you're wearing. Lost, get lost. Come on. I want you to say hello, and then we'll do the address. Or shall we just do the address now? Let's just do the address. Uh, hey, man, OK, do the address, please. OK, here we go. Here's the address to write to, ladies and gentlemen, on the internet. We've tried it out for the first time. MTV's Most Wanted. Hi, Ray. P.O. Box 1384, I Love Nina. Or Only Man of the Stars. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, London, London, uh, NW18, Nina, get the live audience to do that first, please. Eight, uh, I love Nina again, and then there's more. Uh, uh, and, and we need a very big envelope for this address, uh, and there's more. Uh, and uh, hello, Ray, get him on the TV, England, England. There you go. There's your just to write to you. Thank you, my friends on the IRC. We'll be back with you tomorrow night, uh, maybe even later on tonight. But now, it's time for my favourite bit of the show. <laughs> it's time to kick ass with the goodie bag. Goodie bag, goodie bag, goodie, goodie, goodie bag. Goodie bag, goodie bag, goodie bag, goodie bag. Goodie bag. <laughs> Nina! Good stuff. 
They say, wicked, wild, Will Old MacDonald told me to be quick and wicked and wild and I was doing it do, do too quickly. Nina, would you mind preparing it all again for me, please? Take the donkey and prepare it. Take it away. Thank you. OK, here's two people who want to um, fight it out for the goodie bag. In the new kick-ass competition, you get a goodie bag full of MTV's Most Wanted T-shirts, caps, mugs, badges, anything we can find to throw in there. We have Vedran in, uh, uh, who's originally from Bosnia and now is in Norway. Vedran, may I ask you one small question? Which one? What do you think we should do to the Serbs who are capturing all of the UN people and who are bombing people in Tuzla and killing lots of young people in a cafe? Um, that one was hard. Um, make them fuck with your donkey. <gasps> Oops. Bye, Vedran. Bye, Vedran. By not having you on the show anymore. Not very clever to say rude words because we get in trouble with the ITC and not you and we will and it's not very funny. It doesn't mean anything. I'll ask you a serious question about your country that's in serious trouble and all you can say is a rude word, you silly man. Get a life. Goodbye. <laughs> I've turned into Richard Littlejohn or someone like that. <laughs> right, OK, let's get someone else. John Paul in Gibraltar. Hello, John Paul. Hooray. Your language is going to be much nicer than that, isn't it? Yeah. Hello, John Paul in Gibraltar. Are you an expatriate Hi. living in Gibraltar? No. Are you a Spanish person? No. <laughs> but what are you doing I in Gibraltar? Get that clear. What are you doing in Gibraltar then? I live here. I was born here. So you're a Gibraltar person? Yeah, I'm a Gibraltarian. Okay, mate, fine. I'm making some friends tonight, Andy Cam. <laughs> John Paul, are you ready and willing to play kick ass? Of course I am. OK, good. You know what to do? Answer the question, the previous question to the previous answer, the previous person I've asked. OK? Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Who else have we got, Will? Helga. Oh, Helga. We've got Helga back. Great. I'm glad we've got Helga. Fancy getting veteran, Nina. It's your fault. Well, you shouldn't have asked him such a serious question. Why not? Some serious things going on in the real world. Serious Hello? answer. Hello, Helga. Hello. Hello. Who is it? It's your Tomcat speaking. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. You again? <laughs> Sorry, Helga. Couldn't resist coming back for more. Um, do you want to play our kick-ass competition, Helga? Again? Yes. No, 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 there no. There is a goodie bag to come for me. Yes, there will be a goodie bag to come for you. <laughs> OK. I'll okay. make it again. Helga, do you know what to do? Yes, I know it. Answer, answer the, the other question all the time. Excellent. OK. OK. I'm Let's watching get... you every night. Thank you very much, Helga. It's lovely to have you with us. I'm surprised you've got enough time to watch us with all of your lover's guide research going on. Right, here we go. Uh, may the best person win. Uh, John Paul in Gibraltar and Helga in Germany. OK, John Paul, you're first. OK. Can you identify... Remember, say don't know for the first question. Can you identify this band? I don't know. Is the right answer. Red or blue? Uh, red, please. <laughs> Put the hat on, Nina. Red goes on, and uh, John Paul, it's all to play for at the moment. OK, Helga, what sort of vegetable is this? I guess this was Oasis. No? Get off this blood. Take that. Oh, my God. What sort of vegetable is this? Don't know. <laughs> Blur? Is the right answer. Yes, uh, well done. <laughs> Red or blue? Red or blue? Uh, red. Red, OK, on the front. There you go. Red on the front. OK, over to you, Jean-Paul. In the race, I hope you know this one, in the race between the tortoise and the rabbit, who won? A cauliflower. The cauliflower is the right answer. Red or blue? Uh, blue, please. Blue. Blue, blue, blue. On the back. Uh, there we go. On the back of the donkey. Yes. It's exciting on your camera, Martin, isn't it? There's a lot going on. <laughs> OK, over to you, Helga. What animal... Which animal starred in the film Jaws? The rabbit? A rabbit, yes, indeed. No. No, what's the No. Tortoise? The tortoise. I used the wrong answer, so I'll have to go over to uh, Jean Paul. Which, oh, I was giving the answer away already. Are you sure this is working, Will? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, Jean Paul, which uh, animal starred in the film Jaws? The tortoise. The tortoise is the correct answer. Uh, red or blue? Blue. Blue, OK, blue on the back, and there we go. Oh, almost, John Paul, almost. OK, uh, Helga, can you identify this celebrity? George? It's... I forget what you're saying for. That's not a bald head. Like, da-da-da-da-da-da. 
It's a shark, but you said Jaws, so that's good enough. Yeah, I know she Jaws, said it, Will. Said Jaws. Okay, Jaws is fine. Yeah. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, red or blue? Always red. Always red on the front. Oh, blast didn't go off. Okay, over to you, John Paul. Uh, who was the first to step on the moon? What was the previous question? Can you identify this celebrity? What celebrity? What's her name, mate? What's her name? Helga, do you know who was the first to step on the moon? I don't remember the celebrity. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you sure this is working, Will? Uh, <laughs> I know who was the man on the moon, but the... OK, um, all right, then I'll ask you the next question, then. Who is the lead singer with the Go-Go's, Helga? Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong is the right answer. Red or blue? Red. Red, always red. On the... Oh, the yes, we've got a winner. <laughs> yeah. Helga, you're tonight's lucky winner of the goodie bag. Yeah. Jean-Paul, thanks for being there. We'll send you a T-shirt, OK? OK, thank, thank you Thank you very much for both of you to watch, okay. uh, for watching. We'll be back with Sparks playing live and um, more rude words, probably. See you in a minute. Thank you for joining us on MTV's Most Wanted tonight, almost over. Uh, I've got too many faxes to read. I'm sorry, Ed, Will, Damien, Davian and Andrew Betson. Sorry about not reading your faxes. Quickly, a quick lover's guide to Europe. Slovenian girls are the best in Europe. 9 out of 10, says Dayan from Slovenia. Germans are the best lovers of the universe. 10 out of 10. The French are crap lovers. From Robbie in uh, Bedford, Romford, who says even the professional ones are crap. Ray, the Belgians are the best lovers. I know a bit about the Belgians. Uh, dearest Ray, English, Italian, Greeks and the Czechs are the best. Uh, best lovers are the Finns, I give them nine. The best are the Bulgarians, ten out of ten. Uh, Belgians, ten out of ten. Look, it's coming thick and fast. Uh, Robert, can't read that one out. Uh, here's my opinion of Turkish men, six out of ten. Rather enthusiastic, but the best British lovers in the world. And why isn't Greece or Cyprus on the love list? We're in Europe and we all know where Aphrodite comes from, the goddess of love. So there we go, it's official. We'll have more on the Lover's Guide tomorrow. We'll also have more of our live studio audience tomorrow. Hello, live studio audience. I wanted to quickly ask the very pretty girl on the end of the front row, uh, we haven't got time, uh, who she thinks is the best lover in Europe. Over to you, pretty girl on the right of the first row. You two! You are the sex symbols, both of you two. Yeah. Best lovers in Europe? The Brits. Pardon? The Brits. The Brits! Yeah. What about the young girl in the glasses behind you because she wanted to say something? Best lovers in Europe? Um, don't know. <laughs> don't know! Is that all you had to say? Don't know! Uh, five no lovers in say Europe. The the Brits, yeah. The Brits, okay, so it's official. The Brits are the best in Europe, and uh, we'll do some more of that tomorrow night. Two words, two words tomorrow night. Another two words. Take that. Take that tomorrow night, live in the studio, all over the studio, all over the show. If you don't like Take That, tune out, because they're going to be here all night long. Take that tomorrow night, plus other things happening here in the studio. Do join us for that. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And um, Vedran from uh, Bosnia. Sorry about that, mate, but it was my fault that you swore, and I know how you feel. But um, Nina's told me off, and I feel for you, and we'll send you a T-shirt. Sorry about that. OK, thank you very much for your time tonight. Thank you for being a lovely, lovely studio audience. Fantastic, fantastic, lovely people. And we'll see you tomorrow. Take that tomorrow night. In the meantime, it's our favourites. They're back again. What's the song, they're gonna do? What's the song you're going to do, Russell? It's called Let's Go Surfing. Let's Go Surfing. The new single, is it? It will be the new single soon. It will be the new single soon. You heard it here first. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Sparks. Stay safe. Thanks for your time. See you tomorrow. Bye.
as we look at the moon and the stars From our room with security bars There's a westerly wind that just blew in both our bags and both our feet Walk through sand that's as wide as the snow That's the people named Kelly and Joe Who have nothing in common with me Sweaters and gloves We will open the window And blow in on shore the blue in in Grab our boats from the back of our van Paddle out till we can't see the sand Spin around and drop into the wind We hope it never ends Dreams far from everything. Let's go surfing there tonight. Grab our boats from the back of our van. And love till we can't see the sound. Spin around and drop into the wave. We hope we'll never win. Oh, 